after breakfast, it's time to take care of the dishes and put that away. That is the first thing I start with, getting all those dishes put away. And it's pretty simple since my kitchen is just right in a U-shape that everything is so convenient and so close right there. So just put everything away and um, get all those cleaned up, dried. That's just what I like to start with. That way it's easy to be able to wipe everything down after that. On to the sink and my draining rack. This is a collapsible draining rack. I love it because I can store it if I don't want to use it. So um, just getting a lid, I got stuck in the sink. And then I'm going to clean out my draining rack. rack. It gets really grody and gross with um, dish water and things like that. So I'm going to clean out my other sink first, first with a scrubbing pad and scratch pad to get all the gunk that has been stuck to it for a couple days from my draining rack being on that side and then get the other side as well um, this doesn't really scratch my stainless steel there it just gets all the grime and grease and things that are stuck on it alright so then I'm gonna get some hot water going and pour in some vinegar vinegar is an awesome solution to use for cleaning with some baking soda. You see that there's nasty, gross dirtiness in there. Um, and then I'm going to soak that in some hot water, vinegar, and then add some baking soda onto the really gross parts to let that sit for a while. So that is what I'm going to do to get that nasty gross off of there that just most people probably get on their draining racks that you don't realize you get. So that fizzes up there that you see, and let that soak in the solution. Now I like to start up high and move my way down. Just wipe the fronts of the cupboards. I don't do this every week, probably once a month because, you know, sticky fingers, um, baking things splatter, so grease from frying bacon that my husband loves. So it's just nice to wipe those down from starting up higher and lower, getting my coffee pot. I don't often remember to wipe that down after I make my coffee. So just wipe the sides and fronts, getting the lower counters, moving all my decorations. Um, and then I also like to get my microwave. I have to store it on my fridge because that's the only space we've got. Um, clean around where I keep my cookbooks and clean the front of the microwave. I regularly wipe down the inside of my microwave, so that is something I just do daily. So I'm not showing cleaning that, but get my knife set um, behind some of the things that are up on the fridge. I'm wiping down my wood block where my knives are in to get all of the dust that collects because we have windows that leak air and dust particles float around a lot so it gets quite dusty in our little apartment you'd be surprised at how often i have to dust to keep it clean then just wipe off all the counters um and i noticed there were a few gunks in there so i put some of that away all right this is my one of my favorite things to do because it just ends up leaving such a clean look wiping down a white stove is important to me to keep it nice and clean getting the knobs off and you'd be surprised to what gets behind there when I fry things on the stove cooking anything splatters get up behind there so just wipe all the knobs off wipe behind the knobs and just stick them right back on not too hard cleaning out the stove top is important too because you get spills over when you're cooking you can see that there's some dirt and grease in there 
And then you see that there's also crumbs that get inside of the stove top too. So just wipe all that out, get everything out. And I try to do this probably every other week. So again, not once a week, but pretty regularly. Get the grease from around the rim and wipe that up. And I do use my same rag. Um, that's why I do the cupboards first. And this is one of the last things I do with it uh, because it's as dirtier as well. So I just try to use um, my rag, fold it in different directions so that I'm being conservative. Oh, I have to have my coffee. So I love my Mrs. Cup that we got for our wedding. Cleaning out the inside of the oven is something I have not done in a, quite a while. I probably only do this once a year. So I had a spill, so I'm putting some baking soda and then using my vinegar and water solution to spray on my rag and spray that down. Um, I also know that that helps take that icky, sticky stuff off of there, but it's very difficult to get off, and so I just try to get the surface part of it because those stains I have let sit for a while and are hard to do so I'm going to grab a fork or knife to try to scrape it off a little bit as you can see it didn't completely come off but I wanted just the crustiness to get off of there as well just wipe underneath the burner area where the heat coil is at get all the bottom gunk and then wipe the rim and the edge get some of that splatter and dust off of there and make sure that is clean and then go ahead and just quickly wipe down my grates because those don't get too dirty wipe down all of those on both of them to wipe the outside of my stove off and open the bottom part because there gets to be food crumbs in there and I do have to store pots and pans under there so I just wipe that down pretty regularly then I just move down to the floor I wipe my floor daily so this is a common occurrence to see me on the floor and literally how far I am right now it's just how big my kitchen is so it's not extremely large and it takes me about 30 seconds to wipe my kitchen floor right now but when we move it'll be a little bit bigger so then I just wipe that out and get all that done. All right, so now it's time to rinse off my um, dish drainer, I guess. And I like to use an old toothbrush to scrub all the gunk out. So see me doing that there, get in between all the grooves. And I also put my um, burner the metal burnt part of the burner whatever you call those in the vinegar baking soda water as well to get some of that grease off of there so you'll see that underneath of my dish drainer as well um toothbrushes are amazing cleaners just to get between grooves of everything and work well on grout and oh there you go you see it collapsed my dish drainer i love 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 how well that works came out quite a bit cleaner that steel is shiny and just have to rinse it off the baking soda vinegar solution works quite well to get that off I did use a scratch pad on some of the grease I had on that one there to get it out a little bit but I do that about every other week like I had said so to keep it a little cleaner all right time to put them back on and get everything set where it belongs it my cleaned kitchen love to have my candle going afterwards um, I like to 
just make it clean countertops. Not a whole lot on my countertops. Um, I wipe down cupboards and what's on top of my cabinets right now. And there is my full kitchen in its full glory. As small as it may be with my little floor area. Um, and rug. Put a new towel out too. Of course you gotta do that. My clean sinks. They just shine. So there is my final kitchen. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click subscribe. See you all later.